Well, this is the match that everyone here paid to see. Boom Boom, Colt Cabana versus the Candyman, the David Arquette. And the Candyman can indeed. He came out uh, with a, uh, a Mickey Mouse bag and tossed candy to everybody. And then, what was that, confetti at the end? It was a screamer. Oh, screamers, so, yeah. yeah. Good showman and uh, not Brad Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> David Arquette. But uh, has really uh, put in a lot of time and training in professional wrestling as well as competing on independent shows across the United States the past several months. Uh, some people think of David Arquette in professional wrestling. They think back to WCW and, uh, on a negative way, but he's really proving his love for the sport and the business of professional wrestling by uh, making a comeback here. You know, you go back to that uh, that run in WCW. He donated all the money that he made from that uh, to Owen Hart's family, Ryan Putin's family, uh, Draws, of course. So David Arquette, say what you want about him. He never wanted to become the WCW champion anyway. Exactly. <laughs> so he's somebody who has always been a fan. He certainly respects what professional wrestling is all about. And he's grinding here on the Indies. Not staying in five-star hotels. He's giving him a free free wrist lock here. Cole Cabana much more experienced. Well, of course. And a former NWA world champion himself. Cabana. Yeah. Well, Fireman's Carry takeover brings Arquette down to the mat. We get it. Cole Cabana, world traveled athlete. He's been doing it on a regular basis, multiple times a week, having matches for damn near 20 years now. You know, I was kind of half hoping that our kit would come here bald tonight. He had a matchup uh, last night in, uh, what, Tennessee somewhere, I think. It was right? hair versus hair? Uh, jo against Josephus? Jo oh, jo Josephus? Josephus, Brody. sorry, okay, yeah. I don't know if Brody is still part of his uh, I'm not sure. It's a good idea if he dropped it. <laughs> but... <laughs> Able to send Cabana into the rose, shoulder tackle, and down goes Arquette. You know, I, I was saying, though, here's a guy who's a movie star. Right, I'm sure he's, he's doing fine financially. Oh, he's, absolutely. And he's staying in the hotels, in the motels. Yes. With the guys on with the, the rest, With the rest of us, and, and pulling off a head scissors like My that. My God! Taking Cabana off his feet. He, Arquette almost can't believe he pulled that off. <laughs> There's a reason he was the world champion. <laughs> yeah, Cabana. indeed. Cabana, nobody home in the corner. Our kid on the apron. What is he doing? Oh, my God. Straight oh, my board. God. No way. Double X handle. Cabana is ready to rumble. Cover. Only two. That would be a gigantic upset. And it made uh, headlines. The video went viral. David Arquette and Nick Gage on an event for uh, Game Changer Wrestling doing a hardcore style of wrestling. David has sworn those off. <laughs> yes, he has. But you got to hand it to him. He had, the, he had the balls to even get in there and agree to do it in the first place. And now on the receiving end of that suplex from Colt Cabana. Nearly killed him, didn't it? Not this ball, maybe the suplex, but well, yeah, the, the match against, against the match against damn near close yeah. to severing his jugular. And, but, but he kept going and uh, didn't shy away from those light tubes until it got serious in that matchup. I gotta say, I, I and then not everybody's made for that style of wrestling anyway. No, of course not. I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Arquette has so much ink. Wouldn't expect him to be uh, a tattoo guy. <laughs> I'm surprised that he's apparently stolen AJ Styles' body. <laughs> well, there's Cabana with a rake to the back. And Arquette might be thinking right now, oh, I, oh. Another chop oh. coming up. And right now he's probably thinking, why did I do this? Why am I here? He just was forced to do that strut because he came from Tennessee last night. Well, Cabana, no surprise, in the driver's seat of the matchup. Lateral press here, not hooking the leg, though, and Arquette getting his shoulder up. Going to make him humble. Cheeky baby. 
Hey, Vera, cat! I break your back, I make you humble, and then I fuck it up! Enough of it is on you. But he is breaking his back. All the body weight of Cabana down across that lower back of David Arquette. And now Cabana is going to bust out the Garvin stomp. Drops the fist. Sized up with the garbage stop, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he could if he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, very easily. But is Kamana going to go up? Getting him in position. Kamana ascending to the top rope. Taking a lot of time, though. Utsal, nobody home. Arquette was playing possum. He saw how much time Kamana was taking, knew where he was at, was able to roll out of harm's way. Look at that clothesline, sunset flip. But Cabana quickly turning it around and rolling him around in circles. Referee's trying to keep oh, up. Arquette on top. Go. Near fall. Can he stay with the advantage here? Arquette looking to follow up, but on the receiving end of these jabs. Down he goes. Uh-oh, here it comes. And the huge elbow from Cabana. Holding press. Only two. Channeling the American dream, Dusty Rhodes with the bionic elbow. I'm sure that as Arquette will watch this back at some point, he'll appreciate the gesture, if not the actual delivery of the move. I don't know if he'll appreciate the flying asshole, but right to the elbow, Cabana runs. Up to the second rope goes Arquette. Cross body, but caught by Cabana. Oh, but Arquette right behind him. Another huge elbow from Cabana. Takes Arquette off his feet. Arquette seeing stars as Cabana's climbing up top. And perhaps sensing his opportunity to put the movie star away. But a boot to the midsection by Arquette. Cutter. And he got him. 